let's talk about guitar amp simulators. Before plugins, if you wanted the sound of a Marshall head and a Fender Bassman bottom, you had to go find those and stick a mic in front of it, and that was your sound. But now the sequencing programs come with amp simulators, and in Pro Tools, those are 11 and Sans Amp. Switch to the mix window. Look at our two guitar tracks. There's 11 free. There's the PSA or the Sans Amp. So if you found that Marshall head and that Fender Bassman bottom and you stuck a mic in front of it, you have to hope that you like that sound all the way through your project because you were stuck with it, aside from the EQ and reverb that you could apply to it and modify it slightly. Well, with a simulator, using this plugin, we can make the guitar sound one way for the tracking and then send the guitar player home and completely change the sound after the fact. So let's open this interface for 11. Let's take a look at the library that ships with 11 free. So in factory default, we can see that we have choices for clean, crunch, overdrive, and each one of these is going to give you a different combination of amp type and cabinet type. And then of course you have lots of parameters you can change down here. There's a gate, and a gate helps because some of these plugins have a lot of hum built into them. So it's helpful to have the gate there right in the plugin. Like the other plugins, if you create a setup that you like, you can save as. You have a library here that you can browse through. Remember, Pro Tools now has the marketplace. If I type AMP, I figured I'd find a bunch of AMP simulators. Here are four of them, but not all of them are really AMP simulators. The only one that I see that is, is 11. And if you got here and you saw this for $400, you might be thinking, well, why would I buy this for $400? I already own it. Well, what you own is the free version, and this is kind of the starter kit. Now, you get a lot more patches and a little more flexibility with the $500 version, but if you want to spend some time matching amps and cabinets and tweaking some EQs, you can build your own library here in the free version. If you're looking for other simulators, check out Amplitube and the Waves plugin GTR. You can use 11 or any of these amp simulators on guitars, obviously, but you can use them on vocals and drums and sound effects. Try using it non-traditionally and see where that takes you. Let's take a quick look at Sans Amp. This one isn't quite as complicated. There are some nice patches, some categorized at the top. There's your factory presets. Notice that if you're doing a bass part, they give you some patches here. Actually, we would find those over here on the bass track if we clicked that instance of Sans Amp. And you have your same library type display if you want to browse through the patches that way. So, amp simulators, built for guitars, but don't let that stop you. Try it on other things too.